Dad, look at this one. That's great, honey. Daddy, do you want to see what we learned this week? Hey, hey, Claire, don't, don't you want to read a book? No, I want to show you my spins, silly. But you love reading. It's like your favorite thing to do. I didn't bring any books. All right, stop it. I'll get you a new book, a grown-up book. You want to be grown up, don't you? Honey, dancing is, it's a wonderful thing. Reading, reading is even better for you. It is? It's the best thing. It's, oh, this, this is a good book. This is a valuable book. Everyone should read Shakespeare before they die. Does it have any pictures? Oh, honey, you're, you're too smart for that. Oh, just, I've got a big comfy chair right over there. Just take your book and sit and read quietly. You know, I don't have to dance. We could explore. Honey, it's better for you to just sit and read your book. Excuse me, miss. Oh. <laughs> yes. Could you tell me where the gardening section is? Oh, yes, it's right down that aisle, and when you hit the mystery section, you take a right. You've got a sign up. Okay. It's got flowers on it. I made the sign. Explore. Honey, it's better for you to just sit and read your book. Hello, Professor. Could you use a break? Oh. Clara, you know I never need a break, but I always appreciate the pleasure of your company. Oh, uh, please don't touch those. Those are all very perfectly organized. Is uh, this a candy bar wrapper? When you get your doctorate, you can question my methods. Until then. <gasps> oh, gosh, it seems like you've been working on this forever. Is this all for that same book of yours? It's a long project. I'll be working on it as long as you're here. You ever going to let me read it? No, I'm afraid you won't have the chance. Besides, there's plenty of books in here to keep you busy. I like that one I saw you reading earlier. You seemed really entranced. Well, okay, that's actually the strangest thing. I found it under one of the tables when I was vacuuming. There's no title or barcode or anything. Do you want to see it? Clara, you're telling me that out of all the books in the entire library, you chose one some poor person just left lying around by mistake? Clara, you have a problem. I know, but I can't help it. <laughs> and, okay, so you know how I told you about my dad? There's a character in this book that reminds me of him. I, I miss him a lot, and it's just kinda nice, you know? It kinda feels like this book was meant for me or something. I. You think I'm crazy, don't you? No, not crazy. It just, I don't want you getting lost in any strange books. Gotta keep one foot in reality, right? Precisely. And speaking of reality, we both probably better get back to ours. All right. Um, are you gonna drink your coffee? Oh, yes. Thank you, Clara. You're a dear. You can interrupt me anytime. OK, 
Okay, I swear I left that book right here. Oh, Professor, hi, I, um, is everything all right? I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Clara, but uh, I was just really craving a good cup of coffee. <laughs> and what happened to never needing a break? Well, there's been a bit of an unforeseen development in my project, and I could use a good distraction. <laughs> <laughs> is that all I am to you, a distraction? Of course not, Clara. <laughs> I was just actually hoping to take a few notes from you, if you Oh, of course. And yeah, the sports section, it's two aisles past nonfiction, right over there. Cool, thank you. Oh, um, this is gonna sound weird, but if you see any strange looking books lying on the floor or under a table or something, can you let me know? Sure, yeah, um, I could do that. Um, and I don't mean strange like a Stephen King book. I, I mean strange like it doesn't have a title or... so early. I told you to wake me up when you got home last night. Well, I just, I just figured you needed your sleep. Dad, I'm 21. I'm in college. I'm used to staying up late. You know, it, it really wouldn't have bothered me. I just thought it was better for you to rest, that's all. Try. You have to clear my head. Try to 
figure out what I can say to you to make you understand Claire, this. what are you talking about? Dad, you're not even listening to me. Honey, I need you to trust me. It's better for you. Better? It's not what's better for me. It's what's easier for you. Professor, how... where? The library. As always, you're in the library. But the, the, the book! It's about me. The book's about me! <clears throat> do I sound totally crazy? No, no. But I do think you should sit down. It's an argument between a dad and a daughter. I don't remember what it was about, but I know that it happened. I know that it did, between my dad and I. A long time ago. A very long time ago. What was that? Y you didn't even look at it. I'm worried about you, Claire. No, I'm not losing another one! <laughs> you have all three books? Why did you take them? You were never supposed to see any of this in the first place. Uh, but they're about me? I need to go. No, Professor! Professor! Just calm down and listen to me. You want me to go back to school for the whole summer? Yes. I mean, most kids would kill for an internship like this in your field. Most kids don't live on the other side of the country and never get to come back for breaks. Claire, you, you know that I would have spent the summer here with you I, more than anything. Well, that's good, because I'm staying. <sighs> I can't let you do that. It, this, this is too important. It's better for you. It's, it's, think about how this will look on a resume. Em employers don't even care about transcripts anymore. All they care about is internships. Well, they'll probably offer it to me again next summer. Well, that's perfect, because two summers of an internship is better than one. No, Dad, I I'm staying here. I I'll go work in the library. You know I love that job, and, and even with your work <laughs> schedule, I'll be able to see you in the morning you and at night and on work weekends. at the library. Okay? That's just silly. Dad, I like that job. Well, you'll like this one, too. And it pays better. <sighs> Professor, I, I, I was looking for you. There's something wrong with me. I... Everything's all jumbled up. I, I'm not even sure I'm supposed to be here. I'm sorry about the whole thing with the books. I, I guess I just let them... Professor? Has the library always been this... small? The library is only as small as you want it to be kind of answers that the only kind I can give professor what's going on where am I the library I know that but what is it really it is the best place for you right now I want to go home where's the door there are no doors what a silly idea I want to go home there has to be a way out. You can't keep me here! You have to tell me where the door is! Why won't you answer me? I'll answer any question you have, Clara. You only need to ask. This can't be real. I just... Not the library, not the 
freaky book's not whatever you are. It, it just can't be. It, it can't be. Get away from me. What is this? Another freaky book. What is it really? Memories. They're all memories. Mine? Yes. And who are you? Well, I'm a friend, Ed Clara. I'm your charming and brilliant friend. We've had dozens of conversations. Can I trust you? Yes. Of course you can. so much it's not about the library dad it's not that I love the library or that I don't think this is a good opportunity for me it's because I miss you and I'm probably gonna take that internship next summer and then I'm gonna get a job and I'm gonna graduate and I'll probably get an apartment out there and I know you'll come visit me but only when absolutely convenient for you and I just wanted to spend some time with you. Is that so hard for you to understand? Claire, stop it! No. Listen, Dad. Someday you're gonna die. Probably from all the stress your work gives you. And I'm gonna fly in from wherever I am. And I'm gonna come and sit next to you at your hospital bed. And you're not gonna be able to read that newspaper. And you're not going to be able to run away to work. And obviously, the best place in the whole world for me to be would be with my dying father. And then... Then we're finally going to get to really talk. And we're going to talk about all those family memories. And all the little jokes we had. And, and we're both going to be really happy. I decided to come here and spend the summer with you. And it's going to be hard to watch you die. But, you know, at least I'll know that I actually knew who you were while you were alive. And honestly, Dad, I... I, I can't say that right hey, stop now. Stop being so overdramatic. I'm not being overdramatic. I just... I don't want to come back here and pack up all of your stuff and realize that I didn't know anything about you. And that I missed out on the chance to have a real relationship with you. Because I was too busy doing things that were just convenient for me. I'm not gonna die anytime soon. It's, it's okay. You know, that wasn't the point. I, I just think that you're going back and, and taking the position. It's, it's what's better for you.
crashed my car, didn't I? You did. Am I dead? And what am I? Dying. But you shouldn't let a little thing like that worry you right now. Dying? Where is the door to the library? There are no doors. What a silly idea. That's exactly what you said earlier. But there has to be a way out. Professor, you and I have been friends for a while now. You have to tell me. What is the library? I asked you a question. You have to tell me, what is the library? The library is the best place for you right now. So it isn't real. It's real to you. What is going on? Why am I somebody's little lab project? Why is this happening Clara, to me? You need to calm down. <laughs> Does, does my dad know about this? Please, Clara, I know it's scary, but you can be happy here. Why would he let anybody do this to me? Unless... Does he think this is what I want? It's better for you here. <gasps> so I don't even get to say goodbye! Can you please let me leave? It's better for you here. Stop saying that! Stop it! Stop it! This is what he wants. He thinks I wanted to work in the library and read my books, but I don't! You know what I want? I want to be with my dad. I want him to have to hold my hand and tell me that it's gonna be okay. Can I see him? Can I talk to him? It's better for him if you're here. I told you not to! Could you say that again? It's better for him if you're here. So I die happy, right? I just stay here in this perfect little library. And I talk to you and I, and I read and it's all very pleasant, and I just enjoy myself. Is that it? Yes. Now, let's just sit down, read a book, and get your mind off of it. Why now? Please stop asking questions. <laughs> Why did these books of memories start appearing now? This morning. You took a turn for the worse. Something about your heart. I don't know exactly, I'm not that kind of doctor. Please, can you... Can you be totally honest with me? I, I don't know what you are. Half program, half programmer maybe, I don't know, but... I think that I deserve to know what's going on. Do you agree? Yes. Do you think that I deserve to spend today with my dad. Yes. Is it possible for me to do that? You like this book? Read it. Wake me up! Wake me up! I want to see my dad! I want him to have to talk to me! Wake me up! If you have any decency in you at all, wake me up! Why won't you do that? Your father is not in the room with you right now! What? Why not? He couldn't stand it. Well then, call him. Tell him that I'm awake and that I want to talk to him. He would come and see me if I was awake, right?
He wouldn't make it in time. What do you mean? Clara, please. Uh, what do you mean? He couldn't get here in less than two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes? Approximately. Uh, because subject 236, Clara Hardy, has 150 seconds to live. Oh my god. Will you please shut up? I wanted you to stop asking questions. I will. William Shakespeare. I, my dad gave me this book. Hamlet. This is a good one. It's like the Lion King, except... Except everybody... dies. You know his famous line in here? <laughs> to be or not to be? Some people think that he's contemplating suicide. He's trying to decide if all this pain and suffering in his life is worth being in. Or if being in it is what life is all about. You know, it's a great speech to ponder, but it's Hamlet's choice. Hamlet's contemplation, not mine. I'm just stuck in the middle. And all you are is a distraction. So that my dad wouldn't have to choose. You can just put me here and pretend that I'm happy. Pretend that I don't know what's going on. Oh. Oh. Pretend that I'm stupid. I don't want a distraction. I only get to be for a little while. Why can't I make the most of it? Because Clara Hardy, <coughs> subject 236, has approximately 10 seconds to live. <coughs> oh God. Nine, eight, uh, seven, six. It's not fair. Five, four. Three, two. It's not his fault. <laughs> Professor Carter, was it? I'm so sorry, sir. I I was trying to wait for you to get here. I'll uh, get my stuff and get out of your way. So you've, you've been here the whole time? As often as I could be. And she thought she was there? Yeah, just like you requested. Beautiful library and nice Trustworthy, older professor. She liked things simple. She was a remarkable girl. Well, I'm just glad she didn't feel any pain. Thank you. You could have been here with her. You know, she asked about you. She said it wasn't your fault. Well, who the hell do you think you are? Sir, I'm just trying to... What makes you to... think that you have the right to tell me what my daughter needed? I'm her father. You're right. I didn't know her as well as you did. Did... Did she have anything else to say? Nothing you didn't already know about. Things she wanted to do with her life. Stuff about family, 
friends. Ben. Ben? Yeah. You know, the way she talked about him always made me laugh. Someone should probably talk to him. I doubt anyone's told him about the accident. I don't even know who that is. I'm gonna leave now. Wait! Wait! I need you to tell me more about her! I'm sorry. I have to... Fine! Leave me here all alone! Everybody else has. I'm just glad I was able to, I could help. I know how much you, you love that library and those books. I loved your books. I just wanted to do what was, what was best for you. 